the Razer Magnum platform from Hunt Arsenal. It's extremely, extremely thin. It comes in at about three pounds, three ounces. Fully machined 7075 aluminum. Grip spurs on the top for grip on your boots. A belt hook attachment that makes carrying this thing into the field super, super easy. Patent pending rope lock system. A Versa button, multiple degrees of adjustment. The top standoff flips out. And when it flips down, it just gives us really simple packing. It's 15 and three quarter inches in width, and you get 11 and a quarter inches in depth. Plenty of room on this Razor Magnum platform. This is a five millimeter DuraBraid rope. This is a proprietary rope from Hunt Arsenal. These things are tough. This is a fantastic tie method. It's been working fantastic for me. So I actually have a little tip that I want to show you guys today for tying this thing. Imagine I'm on my climbing stick. Right, my climbing sticks are at six o'clock. If this is 12 o'clock on the tree, I'm at six. I'm gonna actually take my top stand off and swing it in. Then I'm gonna pull my platform to an acute angle. I'm gonna put my platform on right in front of me with the standoff closed. We go around the tree, around the Versa button, take the bottom standoff out, pull tight. One more time around the Versa, okay back in front of this rope, behind the rope lock, into the bottom rope lock cleat, up around, down, over, make an X. Now you can take this, they recommend tying a half hitch. Now if you wanna rotate this around the tree, you're free to reposition it, just like that. And then now I'll start to open my top standoff. Now I'm starting to get tension because my standoff's starting to open. To see my standoff's not all the way open yet, I've already got tension on my rope. I was able to seat my platform right in front of me and then swing it over. I didn't make much noise, it's not that hard to do. Now you're gonna push down and your top standoff's gonna open. Boom, you hear that? That was my standoff opening. Then you take some pressure off and give it another bite. That is one way that you can tie this and not have to deal with leaning out. You can see it's completely untied and these platforms just dig into the tree. The machine teeth, the 7075 aluminum, they're just so pronounced. I've been using this specific platform all year and I have not had an issue biting into a tree at all. Two little tabs up on the top by the top standoff. You squeeze them in, then you rotate your standoff down, okay? That's how you're gonna pack your platform. With your cam strap, you're just gonna go around the tree. It's pretty simple, take some slack out, like any old cam strap, and go around your button. You're gonna take your slack out, and you're gonna have a tight lock to the tree. Once you're standing on this thing, you guys will realize how much space there is on it. It's really a comfortable platform. The standoff's really nice to stand on. You can stand at the back edge. There's very, very little flex in this thing. And no problem when you're swinging around the platform. Plenty of angle on the back side to get to your weak side shots if you like to walk around the tree. And also a really important thing about this platform that I want to touch on, side loading weight on it. So I'm not afraid to really put the weight on those teeth to curl around a tree if I need to get on the back edge to make a shot back here. Foot on this thing, no problem, and there's plenty of room to maneuver footwork. It's just a fantastic platform. In my opinion, really hard to beat.